All right, shalom, 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 brother Randy and brother Ryan here. Uh, and uh, yeah, interesting thing about uh, the land as well is we got some uh, good natural uh, materials that's on the land. So brother Ryan is going to take you through what he's been able to uh, assess based on uh, the materials that uh, he's come across. Go ahead, brother Ryan. All right, here looks like we got natural clay. Seems like that's just pure natural clay right there. White clay. Yep. And then we got uh how much of it do you think is down there? It's like an unlimited supply? Uh yeah, I'd say an unlimited supply after you just move the dirt out the way, it's just clay down there. Uh -huh. And then um what we got here is just regular dirt. I'm guessing this is just like the soil. Uh huh. Here. And then uh we got uh sand down there. We got sand like uh that you find at the sea. So we got these three sources down there, and what I did was I uh, mixed them together. Uh-huh. Here, this one's the, this is the mud with the clay. I'm going to see how that turns out. This is the mud with the clay. This is the mud, clay, and sand together right here. I'm going to see how that turns out. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the clay and the sand together. I'm going to see how that turns out. And then that's just the clay all by itself. Mm -hmm. The mud all by itself. And then and then uh, just a big clump of clay I'm still figuring out. But I think that these right here, because we got a bunch of these down there. In the creek, you know, odd shaped rocks, but doesn't look like, you know, what you know, that you would usually find. And what I think happened is I think these these materials mixed together on their own, and you know, formed crazy looking stuff like that on its own mm -hmm. because it hardened over time. So we're trying to figure it out, see what we come up with, and see uh, what we could use um, out of the materials that we got. Maybe we can make something good out of them. Yeah, you know, my mind is already churning, but uh, it's uh, limited because, you know, I, I don't have experience with this kind of stuff. But uh, somebody out there is going to have some ideas. So uh, here we have it. I mean, we can make, uh, um, I guess, uh, you know, we can make any number of limited things. What I like particularly is this piece. Where's that piece that you had? Is it that piece right there or this piece over here? This piece right here. Yeah. I mean, you can make some type of tiling with this and uh, uh, put it as some type of backsplash um, and tile a back wall or something with this stuff. And I think that this one is this one right here because when I take this and I mold this one, I can, you know, I can roll it around and make all types of shapes with it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I added the sand to. This one right here is what I added the sand to. Whereas this one is just the clay alone, so it's a it's more smooth, but this one has more of a sandy, gritty feel to it, which I'm guessing it helps out, you know, longevity with it. So we'll see. Yeah, anybody got any ideas out there in terms of uh, any type of projects, tiling projects, anything like that? Um, uh, please let us know. Share your ideas, your thoughts. Shalom.